Welcome back to Shopify Made Easy. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up an appointment booking system in your Shopify store. First, let's install a booking app. Go to the app section. Search for booking in the app store. For this demo, I will be using the BookEasy app. Now I'm going to create an appointment in my store. Go to the appointments section of the app. Click Add Appointment to create a new appointment. If you want to add multiple products for your appointment, choose Select Product option. Here you can add multiple products from your store. This would allow your customers to book appointments for the specific service they want. If you have your shop in multiple locations, you can choose the Select Location option to allow your customers to choose the locations where they want to book the appointment. You can also select your team member with whom the appointment can be made. Select team member option allows you to set it up. Moving to the appointment availability section. Here you can set up time slots for your appointments throughout the day. You can also enter different times for each day as you can see on the screen. If you are running services like hotels, car and bike rentals, and others, you can enable multi-day bookings. This allows your customers to book appointments for multiple consecutive or random days as they prefer. In the time slot, you can also customize when and how your customers can book appointments. For example, if you want your customers to schedule an appointment at least a day in advance, you can specify a one day requirement here. This section also allows you to set a capacity for your appointments. So if you set the capacity to be two per appointment, your customers can only book two appointments for a specific time slot. For appointments where payment is made after the service, such as doctor's appointments, classes, restaurants, etc., you can opt for free appointments. In this section, you can set up blackout slots to show when your store will be closed, like on Christmas or when you take a vacation or other holidays. Your customers will not be able to book appointments on those dates. You can also set up a section to gather extra information about your customers, like special instructions or any other special preferences. Now that I've done this setup, let me show you how it looks in the store. Let's say a customer wants to book a hair coloring service from this store. Customer clicks on hair coloring product. They then click book your time. Here they can choose the suitable location, team member, preferred date, and time slot for their appointment. As you can see the dates June 3rd to 5th are grayed out. Customers cannot book appointments on these dates because I have added those as blackout dates. Then they can add, for example, ammonia free hair color only in the special instructions section that I have created. They then click next, checks the appointment details, clicks confirm to book the appointment. It's that simple. As mentioned earlier, for services like hotel rooms, events, etc., you can also enable multi-day booking. So while booking an appointment, your customer can choose multiple days from the calendar. They can either choose consecutive days or random days as per their preference. You can also accept appointments without listing them as products. Go to the app settings. Select create an appointment without a product. Your customers can now see this on your homepage. All your appointments will appear in your bookings dashboard. It also syncs with external services like Google Calendar and others. With this app, you can also set up email reminders. Say you are organizing a workshop, you can create a workflow to send reminders at various intervals, before a week, before two days, before a day, before one hour, or more. Choose the reminders based on your preference. Hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer them. See you soon in the next video.